Okay, TM Nation, today we have the newly released Soundpeats Engine 4 True Wireless Earbuds. This is gonna be another budget pair that retails for 60 bucks, but using the code that I put in the description, you can get them right now for right around 42 bucks, which is a nice savings if you're considering picking a pair of these up. For the highlights, the Engine 4s will provide up to 12 and a half hours on a charge. They do provide LDAC compatibility as well as compatibility with the Soundpeats app high-res audio, Bluetooth 5.3 with multi-point connectivity, and they also do have a low-latency gaming mode for all of you hardcore mobile gamers. Inside of the box, you'll get your user manual and other documentation, a couple of pairs of ear tips so you can see which ones fit in your ears the best, a USB Type-C cable to charge the case, and of course you'll get your earbuds along with the case. The case itself is made out of plastic, and it's a huge fingerprint magnet if that's a concern for you. It's super Super shiny as you can see with almost a mirror finish and this really is not a design that I'm a fan of but outside of that it is a good size so it should fit in most normal sized pockets without bulging out too much. Including the case you can get a total usage of up to 43 hours with the earbuds and that is impressive but you won't be able to get anywhere near that if you listen to your media extra loud or if you use these with LDAC on. I was able to get right at 6 hours and 53 minutes with them using LDAC mode with the volume set between 50 and 75 percent of the max volume most of the time. But if battery life is your main concern, just use them in AAC or SBC mode and keep the volume at around 60 percent or lower. That's where you'll be able to get 11 plus hours on a charge and unfortunately these don't support wireless charging with the case so if that's a must-have feature for you you're gonna have to look elsewhere moving on to the earbuds the design is okay in my opinion they have like this diamond cut pattern on the outside that does help with gripping them easier now I would not classify them as mini earbuds as they do stick out quite a bit and they do take up a good amount of space in the ears however they have never felt uncomfortable or overly large in my ears so I've had no issues wearing them for five to six hours at a time without any ear fatigue. I did also use them for exercise and they stayed in place well for light activities such as walking and jogging but they did not do the best when I started sweating while jumping rope. Now although they never completely fell out of my ears I did have to reposition them more than I would have liked to and no matter what pair of ear tips I installed onto them I had this issue. But one thing that I will say is that they never malfunctioned on me even when I had them drenched in sweat. They do have an IPX4 water resistance rating which will do just fine against splashes of liquids but you definitely want to avoid submerging them into anything. These do use touch controls which have been accurate for me so far and you do have all of the controls that you would need at your fingertips. You can control your tracks, your volume, your calls, and your voice assistant as well. As I mentioned earlier, these are compatible with the Soundpeats app, and although it is not as polished as what you'll get with Soundcore or other competitors, it is functional and it does have the basics. Through it, you can perform firmware updates when they are available, and in fact, I've done two since I've had these earbuds that Soundpeats has released to fix various bugs in connection and stability. Besides that, you can see the charge left on the earbuds, select from pre-built EQs, create your own, or take a sound test to have the app create one for you. You can turn off your touch controls and you can activate or deactivate your low latency gaming mode and multi-point connectivity functions. I did hear that some people were experiencing connectivity issues with these having random audio dropouts and disconnections. I personally have not experienced any of these issues. Pretty much out of the box, I was given the prompt to update them, so I went ahead and did that before I started testing, and they've worked flawlessly with both my iOS and Android devices. For the sound quality that these provide, it definitely is impressive, and I really didn't have to do much out of the box to get them to sound great. I did do the sound test for the adaptive sound, and the EQ that the app provided for me is pretty close to the EQ that I created for myself. I do have these tuned to the way that I like to listen to my music, which is heavy on the highs and the bass, with the mid set to a decent 
level as well. With the engine four set this way, I get a buttery smooth sound signature that gives you some nice detail with the highs and mids. I'm usually able to pick up background instruments and vocals relatively clearly, and these are surprising in the bass department as well. They will give you that low end rumble without causing the other frequencies to suffer. Comparing these to the other Sound Peach earbuds that I own in this price range, these for sure are one of the better sounding pairs, if not the best, as I really can't think of anything to detail as a con in the sound department. Now, in terms of the call quality, I do think that they'll be more than adequate for most people. I do wish that they were a little bit more focused on my speech while rejecting some of the noise going on around me. But as always, I did take samples for you guys just so that you can judge for yourselves. Let's check them out. All right, guys. So right now I have the engine fours paired to my iPhone 14 Pro. As you can see, the audio that you're hearing is coming directly from the microphones on them. And I'm not going to do any type of editing to this sample. So this should give you a pretty good idea of how these will perform in a relatively quiet environment. And now here is the background noise test using the engine fours. I'll just be quiet for a second so that you guys can hear how loud it is. And now I'll start speaking again so that you guys have a better idea of how well these can focus on your speech while rejecting some of your ambient noise. Again, I'm not going to do any type of editing to this sample. Taking everything into consideration fam, if you want a pair of these, make sure you use the code in the description to get that extra discount. That will bring these down to right around 42 bucks, which is a sweet deal on these in my opinion. As I mentioned earlier, you're getting that great battery life, LDAC compatibility, compatibility with the Soundpeats app, and you're also getting that buttery smooth sound quality. Now you are not getting wireless charging with the case, transparency, or active noise cancellation. But if those are not must have features for you and you're looking for a well-rounded pair of budget earbuds, I definitely think that you should give these a shot. Before you get on out of here, if you rock with the channel and your boy Tech Mo, hit that subscribe button and knock that notification bell out so you won't miss any of my uploads. Welcome to TM Nation. Peace.